Welcome back everyone and today we are going to talk about prime and composite numbers. Prime and composite numbers are the two types of numbers that differ based on the number of factors they have. Factors are the numbers that you multiply together to get a product. For example, to get 36, you have to multiply 1 and 36. 2 multiplied by 18 is equal to 36. 3 multiplied by 12 is equal to 36. 4 multiplied by 9 is equal to 36. And 6 multiplied by 6 is equal to 36. Which means the factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, one and itself. We have examples. 3 is a prime number because its factors are 1 and 3. 59 is also prime because it only has two factors, 1 and 59. 97 is a prime number because its factors are only 1 and 97. Composite numbers are numbers that have other factors aside from one and itself. For example, we have 10. 1 multiplied by 10 is equal to 10. 2 times 5 is also equal to 10, which means the number 10 has 4 factors that are 1, 2, 5, and 10. Another number is 49. 49 is a composite number because... 1 times 49 is equal to 49, and 7 multiplied by 7 is equal to 49, which means 49 has 3 factors, that is 1, 7, and 49. Another example of a composite number is 75. 75 is a composite number because 75 has more than 2 factors. The factors 75 are 1, 3, 5, 15, 25, and 75. Now let's look at the numbers 1 to 100, and here is our table. We will try to identify which of the numbers are prime and which of the numbers are composite. 1 is neither prime nor composite because it has only one factor, and that is 1. All numbers shaded in pink are prime numbers because they have exactly two factors, 1 and itself. These are the prime numbers from 1 to 100. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, and 97. All numbers shaded in blue are composite numbers because they have more than two factors aside from one and itself. Well, if you're going to ask me, how can you identify which of the numbers from 1 to 100 are prime and which of the numbers are composite, the first thing you have to do is to familiarize with the prime numbers from 1 to 100. Then all else are composite numbers. Another thing is there are clues and hidden hints to identify if a number is composite. And here is it. The smallest prime number is 2. 2 is the only even prime number. The first step to identify prime numbers is dividing the numbers by 2. If a number ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it is composite, except if the number is 2. If a number ends in 5, it is composite, except if the number is 5. Of course, it is also very important that you memorize your table of multiplication so that you can identify which of the numbers are a multiple of a number. Which means if a number is a multiple of a number, it is composite. If a number ends in 0, 2, 
4, 5, 6, or 8, automatically the number is composite, except if the number is 2 or 5. What if a number ends in 1? Example, 21. If you have memorized your table 3 or your table 7, you will identify that it is composite because 21 is a multiple of 3 and 7. And that's the end of this video. If you still have any questions, you can comment it below. For my next video, I am going to talk about prime factorization. It is a requested content from one of my subscribers. So I am going to upload my next video probably next week about prime factorization. Don't forget to hit the bell button for more of my free math videos. Thank you for watching.